Hey, welcome to Versus. This is the host, Top Die. Now, if you want to be part of the show, go ahead and let me know by subscribing to the channel, hitting the comment section, and getting at me on all my social medias. So, here's 2017 winter. We at the Frazier's uh, Lounge Hood Club. At a party, nice party, dressed up and everything. You know, everybody there, all my family there, a lot of friends there. My sister's there. It was for um, Takara's party, her Harlem Nights party. Bro, listen, my sister almost got me killed. First of all, I'm drunk and I'm off an edible. I don't do edibles anymore. Let's just fast forward to like the middle of the party. My sister, she's a lesbian. She's, you know, she's more of a masculine lesbian, not a stud, but masculine. You can tell she's a woman. Oh, uh, she gets into it with a bouncer, a little light skinned dude. I mean, no, you're not. Is he light skinned? I don't remember, but he was bald headed, wore glasses, and short. I get over there, the chest to chest, nose to nose, whatever. So I'm like, oh hell no, nah. this dude is not gonna fight my sister. So I go over there, push him. Watch out, man. You're not gonna do nothing to my sister. Mind you, he's, like I said, he's shorter than me. So I'm barking on him. He's like, sister, I didn't know that was a woman. And how you disrespected my sister, I, right, I bet. So now we into it, people pushing us apart and stuff. Uh, long story short, me and him end up chopping it up. We squashed it, shook hands, dapped up. You know, things cool now. Mind you, I said I was high as well. I didn't get sober till like Sunday, Monday. I made a status on that Monday. The party was Saturday. I made a status that Monday. I was like, man, well, I was about to fight a bouncer. Like, man, that ain't even in my character. Like, I ain't even like that. Which was a lie because I've been into multiple altercations with bouncers, but that's for another story. Somebody commented on a post said, you was about to fight Biddy? I like, hell no, I wasn't about to fight Biddy. Biddy's big, tall, bigger. He'll kill me. No. I'm like, no, nah, man, it wasn't Biddy. I was like, well, it must have been Glenn. Cause I guess those are the only two, like, regular bouncers there. I said, was he short, bald-headed, wore glasses? They was like... Oh like, yeah, that's that's Glenn. They was like, nah, you wasn't gonna whoop Glenn. Well, oh, y'all underestimated me. I got hands. I was like, you talking about short, bald headed glasses? They was like, yeah. So then my homegirl, she sent me a picture like this dude right here. Bro, when I tell you, that was the most humbling moment I've ever experienced, man. Because I wouldn't have won that fight. Like, I'd probably be dead right now making this video from heaven or something. But he would have killed me. Dog, when I tell you this dude looked like he can bitch press a tour bus. And my sister almost got me killed. I feel like like one of the memes. Like, if this guy slaps your mom, what do you do? Well, first of all, what did you do wrong? Because I'm not doing that again. Never again, man. But yeah, that's the um, story from the driver's side. My old boy said, Nubs, I need a story out you. Let me see what I got for you. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Shit. Had to be about 94, 95 up in there somewhere. I know it was close to Christmas because uh baby girl had that Chris Brown shit playing out the radio and shit. That uh that girl I just met you, boo. And what the fuck I'm supposed to do by you a present? Not this Christmas, or whatever the fuck Chris Brown be talking about, but uh, yeah, man, shit, so she invited me over and shit, I done smashed and shit, done went in the motherfucking bathroom, washed up and shit, so now I'm going to the motherfucking refrigerator, I'm finna get me some Kool-Aid, I'm sitting there drinking the Kool-Aid out the jug and shit, and I'm hearing do 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 I'm like, what the fuck, so I'm butt neck and shit, I run back up in the motherfucking bedroom and shit, I'm like, baby girl, somebody coming up your stairs, man, that motherfucker looked at me and said, oh, shit, it's my baby daddy. I think he got off work early. I'm like, oh! So I'm looking around and shit, you know what I'm saying? I grab my clothes and shit. I think I'm gonna jump out the window, but I'm on like the second story. So I look at the clothes and I look up and shit, see the little square thing in the ceiling and shit. I push that motherfucker up, throw my clothes up and shit, then I jump my ass up there and shit. 
Now, mind you, I'm up there standing on the motherfucking rafters because if I stand on the goddamn ceiling part, I know I'm going to fall through the motherfucking floor. So, shit, I'm, I'm up there probably about 10, maybe 15 minutes and shit. Niggas starting to itch and shit. Got insulation and shit all up in my ass and shit. And then I hear motherfuckers say, all right, good night, babe. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, these motherfuckers trying to go to sleep on me? Oh, hell no. So I try to reach my hands down in there to pull the little square thing up and shit. Nigga, you can't even pull the shit up. So I'm in, tr- I'm up here in trouble, itching and shit. Man, I, t- man, let me get on this motherfucking phone. So I call 911. And it, hello? Yeah, 911. Yeah, my name is Jeff O'Brien. You know what I'm saying? I'm stuck in an apartment, apartment complex. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm up in the motherfucking daddy. You know what I'm saying? You can hear a little giggle. She's like, what you say? I said, man, listen, bitch, I'm stuck in the goddamn attic. And then she's like, okay, I'll get some officers out there and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? After a couple of minutes and shit, I heard the police officers coming up the goddamn stairs and shit. Dun, 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 dun. Then I hear him knocking on the door. Boom, 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 boom. Old boy was like, who is that? Girl gonna say, I don't know. And then he was like, well, shit, fuck it. Let me see. So he get up and he go answer the door. He's like, yeah, can I help you? Man, he motherfuckers like, yeah, uh, we got a car and we got somebody trapped in the attic. Cause whoa, 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 whoa. And he's like, what, what? And then, you know, so you can hear the officer coming in the door. So they asked me again, sir, where are you at? I said, go in the bedroom, push up that square thing that's in the closet. So she, the officer went, pushed the motherfucking square thing up in, uh, to the closet, threw my clothes down. Blue, blue. I jumped down, butt naked, blue, blue. nothing but a hat on. And this nigga looked at me. This nigga looked at her. The police and the nigga looked at me. And then that nigga just started choking the shit out of her. They grabbed the nigga, the motherfucker went to jail and everything. So I guess, you know, if we tell her the story, we gotta have a moral. So I guess the moral of the story is, don't be laying your head any goddamn place. Control your environment where you're fucking at. Now a comedian, <coughs> I'm out of here.